you know, compensation and restriction have sort of come back in full force. Uh, but it was sort of like a mini relapse. You won't recover if you don't want to. Just keep myself accountable. I just felt really overwhelmed. Again, really sad, really blue. I get in these funks. I am strong enough to push away the ED thoughts. I'm really emotional. I just want to cry at everything. Exhausting. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess Tatham and I'm currently using this channel as a way to show you my recovery journey from anorexia nervosa. I was diagnosed in March this year, but also to give you an insight into my life and everything I get up to. So if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, like this video and follow me on Instagram at Jess Tatham to stay up to date with a bit more of the daily stuff that I do as well and to sort of keep like a daily update on my um, recovery journey as well so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog and yeah enjoy the video <laughs> a little bit of a chat with you while I have my afternoon snack which is some coconut yogurt and this little brownie thingamajiggy that I got from Asai Brothers. Um, I'm sorry if you're going to hear the TV in the background. It's a press conference about coronavirus lockdowns in Australia so it's sort of important to have on but I want to give a little update because my last vlogs, I've been really confident about recovery. But I want to be honest with you, I lost a little bit of self-accountability. I just sort of got suddenly really comfortable in recovery. Um, until I spoke to my dietitian about it, I thought it was me getting comfortable. But she's like, this is really common and it's your eating disorder trying to, try to take over again. So I still got to this place in recovery where... I was doing everything and etc 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 like doing the six meals you know doing my appointments everything was coming back where I started to just feel like overconfident and like oh I've got this I can live life like this um, and I was still obviously experiencing like extreme food guilt calorie counting and everything like that fear foods but I was just like my brain was telling me this is just your life like this is just how you're gonna live now like this is just you know even though they tell you that you can recover this is just where you sit and that's okay and so i sort of got stuck in that mindset and was sort of like on the outside making it look like it was all good but on the inside i just sort of dropped my motivation dropped my accountability dropped and i was missing snacks again i was restricting at meals again and it wasn't a, a massive sort of relapse but it was sort of like a mini relapse yeah i was honest with my doctors about um, because I don't want to relapse I want to recover and they really helped me out of that the last few days and sort of I started to go backwards a little bit with my mindset I started getting really sad again losing yeah just losing overall motivation both for recovery and just my mental health and feeling happier and everything so yeah I am sort of on a bit of a reset reboot now reinvigorated I feel like after um I had an appointment <clears throat> with my dietitian yesterday and she sort of helped me feel like this wasn't my fault that I had this relapse and it isn't this isn't my fault this is the eating disorder's fault you know but that it's okay to go through something like this as long as I get myself out of it and I am I feel motivated again now I feel like I just um 
and all too comfortable and I, and I got really overwhelmed with all my ED thoughts so I'm sort of rebooting um, I'm still feeling like a little bit down a bit anxious a bit more than usual but you know and that just comes with the territory of recovery and sort of having to pull myself back out of a lull is sort of a bit like you know more energy draining than usual but that's what we're doing so I saw the dietitian yesterday and we mainly spoke about that most of the time and just re being like this is your meal plan breakfast snack lunch snack dinner snack this is what you're doing stick to that like really hammering that back in and then I saw my doctors today where we spoke about we did all the updates weight and everything like that which I haven't had a gain again I haven't gained anything and I cried in the appointment today because I was telling her about everything and I just started to feel a bit overwhelmed again um like I was making progress and then I fell down in this relapse and etc but you know she's really supportive all my doctors are supportive and I'm really lucky because I had a dietitian yesterday doctor today then I have my psychologist tomorrow so I'll really be able to like nut out the mental side of this tomorrow so I've sort of had the food side the medical side and now I have the mental side tomorrow so hopefully I can sort of just regain some traction and sort of just regain confidence in myself that like I can push through this like I am strong enough to push away the ED thoughts you know when those snack times are all around I've been letting those ED thoughts win you don't need it you're not hungry it's only a couple hours away till lunch push through distract yourself and sort of just I yeah I've just totally been unaccountable when I've gone out for the day I haven't prepared myself and just been like oh oops I forgot my snack today when like I know I was just letting ED win. So yeah, that's a bit of update there. Gotta keep it honest, gotta keep it real. You know, compensation and restriction have sort of come back in full force, but I'm having my afternoon snack after having a morning snack and breakfast and lunch. You know, and I'll have dinner tonight and I'll have my nighttime snack. And that's just gonna be an everyday reminder. You have this, you have this, you have this, you have this. And I'm confident I can pull myself out again. I just think it'll take some time and I've gotta just keep myself accountable. That's the bottom line. Self accountability is the key in recovery. You won't recover if you don't want to. You can have the, I always say this, you can have best doctors, best support systems, but if you're not willing to put in the work in recovery and you don't want to recover, you're not going to recover. And that's something I said to my dietitian yesterday and she totally agreed with that. So that's the update. A little bit of like a, it's not a sad note, but just a bit of a uh, note to start the vlog off on. But it's not always happy happy is it so i think I'm, i think i keep getting out of focus i don't really know anyway that's that and yeah i'm gonna finish my snack now and i'll speak to you when i speak to you bye hello it is the next day now i couldn't remember if i vlogged anymore yesterday and it's been a rough 12 18 hours i'm not gonna lie after i spoke to you guys yesterday afternoon i just got really overwhelmed and i was really full like i made dinner could not get much of it in and then i just got really frustrated with everything going on and like having fallen off the wagon a bit and i just felt very like sad anyway i had a moment i had to take myself away for an hour and just sort of calm down um, and I came out and had a big cry to mum um, just about everything like this sort of mini relapse feeling overwhelmed like life changes feeling lost with everything and yeah and then yeah I was just feeling really sad but I had a big long sleep I had a big sleep in today and then I had my psychologist appointment this morning and I just always find them so draining obviously because they're like so mentally like engaging you have to really like think about stuff and I don't know when I came home like I uh, I just yeah I just felt really overwhelmed again really sad really blue I get in these funks where I just nothing really helps me and so I've just been sort of sitting around this morning and yeah just like not really feeling great and i had another cry to mum just before and just feeling down like I, something my doctor said yesterday which i thought was really good she's like 
you're probably at the stage where you realize like you're in this for the long haul like you know at the start of recovery it's this and it's that and like I was obviously in hospital and there was like uncertainty what was just going to go on and now it's just you just got to do the day to day and it's exhausting and I'm just like so over it and I'm over going to appointments and yeah I just yeah that's all I can say there so I am going out for dinner tonight with Zoe and Sophie and we're going to a new place which like is just up the road from like our usual place we go to which is it's just like another Vietnamese restaurant so I'm really, really down and all day I've been like because I cancelled on Sunday because I actually yeah like I spoke with that didn't really feel well on Sunday um, and then like all day I've been really feeling really anxious and been like oh should I cancel and everything but I'm going to push myself and go and I always feel better after I hang out with them it's just hard to tell myself that when I'm feeling like this. But yeah, I just sort of am really emotional and just want to cry at everything. My psychologist appointment, we sort of spoke about that and dealing with um, just the, these funks and sort of continuing to challenge myself, but more like challenge myself in regaining my self accountability and my trust that I can do this. Um, and I think that's the biggest thing. Like I know that I've been cheating myself and I don't like that. Oh my God, my battery is blinking, I need to charge it. Oh. Um, anyway, so we spoke about that and I do feel better after what we spoke about and everything. And I do feel re-motivated, but it's just like, I started here and then I got to here and now I've dropped back down to here and I have to get myself all the way back up. And I know how much work I put in at the start. Now I'm just feeling like, I don't want to do that again. Like, obviously I want to do it again. I want to recover, but like, it's just like you climb a mountain and then you trip down and it's taking you hours and you're like, do I really want to climb back up that? But I've got to, there's no, there's no alternative. Like I've got to do it and I know I do. So that's that. So I'm just a bit sorry for myself, to be honest, just been really, really down. And this is the reality. I had some really positive weeks, really good weeks, but I've just been a mess the past few days. I'm really, really sad. So anyway, I was going to film making my lunch, but my battery's about to run out. I'm not too sure so what I'm going to have yet. So I'll just let you guys know later and go charge this. So yeah, talk to you later. Hello. Oh, it's much later now. Oh, and you literally cannot see me. Does it work for you there? Yeah. It's much later now. It is currently uh, 20 to 6. And I am heading to dinner with the girls. Um, it is so cold. There's like a big chill that came over this afternoon. And it is indeed a very big chill. And I'm freezing. So I'm quite literally rugged up. I hope we can sit indoors tonight. But we'll see. Um, I did film my lunch. I said I would and I did. I just filmed it on my phone. So I had a piece of pumpkin and chive toast with uh, dairy-free butter and Vegemite. And then I had a couple of the Thai corn fritters that have appeared in a lot of my videos because I eat them a lot. And then I just had some Thai basil, tomato and spinach randomly just chucked on there. And some sweet chili sauce so it was good and then i had did have a snack as well i just had some cereal and yogurt because i had to finish off my coconut yogurt and i didn't i shockingly didn't feel like eating so that was sort of the only thing that i was like yeah i have that so anyway that is that i went for a bit of a wander this afternoon but just sort of spent most of the day what did i do with my day i think finishing editing the video i did and not much else but that's all right. So yeah, I'm gonna go now, warm up. I've got my heat, seat heater, warmer thingamajiggies on like, they're always number three, you know? Why, no, we don't have this. We have, oh damn, but I just double clicked it. The hottest we can go and you, I need to pump up my AC to be hotter as well because 22 is not warming. And I'll show you what we have at dinner when I get there, but I will speak to you later on. I know. Mm. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Do you want some chili beer soup? Um, it will be fine, thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Do you want to give us a wave there, Zoe? Yeah. 
Do you go side by side feet? Feels familiar. Feels familiar <laughs> in these hands. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> wow. Look at that big fish. <laughs>